Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the third part of our React Redux series and in this video we will talk about Redux reducers. Alright, so what are reducers? Basically, reducers are pure functions and reducers are used if you want to make any change. So, reducers are the only way to make a change in your state and these are pure functions. Alright, and there are something which you cannot make inside a reducer which are like mutation of functions argument you cannot use reducers for api calls or routing logic also you cannot call a non pure function inside a reducers all right if you see this diagram so once you dispatch an action from view then action goes to reducers so this is the only way to communicate with store reducers take action and based on that action reducer goes to store and it takes data or it updates the state and return the updated state to the view so this is all about the reducers all right now let's go to visual studio code so now we need to create reducers so go to reducer folder first of all let's create a new file let's call it product.js so first of all we need to take a initial state so for that initial state and set this state let's take data of blank array so we have created our initial state now let's create the component so const product so it will take state as initial state and second parameter is action so inside this we will use switch case switch and it will take type from action so action dot type and based on that action we will use our switch cases so the first one is let's say case one so if we go to our actions so the first one is add product all right so let's copy this one because we will pass the same and for this let's return the state so return first of all we will use spread operators three dots and state and the second parameter would be the data and inside oops colon so inside data first we will use initial state dot data and the second would be the name of product and this is coming from action dot name and second one is id and this is coming from action dot id so we are done for our add product all right so another case is delete product so go to here and copy this delete product and for this first let's create products array so state dot data dot filter and inside this we will use let's say product and product dot id is not equal equal id which is coming from action dot id all right so we will pass id from our component so now we need to return the state so return again we will use spread operator because we need the previous state and then the new state so data product and finally the default one the default case so default then return in this we will return the actual state or the previous state so save this 
so we are done with our reducers and finally export default product let's save this so so far what we have done basically reducers need initial state so we have defined our initial state and inside this we are having a property called data and the initial state is blank array all right so this is our reducer so we have given the initial state and the action so inside this we are using switch case so as we have two action methods or two actions so we are using two switch cases and third one is default we have to use it so the first one is add product so if you pass this add product action from your component so first it will come to the switch case and see oh the case is add product so then it will use the existing state and then in the state it will add the name and id which we will pass from the create component all right so this is how add product will work and then this delete product so for this particular delete product we will pass a id all right so what it does it will take that id and it will check in the state so a part of that particular item it will return rest of the items all right so once we get rest of the items a part of that particular id which we are passing from the front end it will return the rest of the product so we are updating our state with the these products so it will return this new state and in the default we are returning our previous state all right so this is how we define or declare our reducers so in this particular reducer we are using two cases and third one is default so this is how you can create your reducers this is just for your you know knowledge or just for your learning but if you want you can create other you reducers and you can add your other action names or action methods all right so basically we are using just for learning two cases here it is so this is the first one reducer and now again we need to create another class inside this reducer so let's add another class called index.js all right so go to this index.js So here first we will need to import combined reducer from redux all right and now we need to import our product reducer which is this one so import product from product and now const reducer name root reducer and combine reducers and let's give our reducer name product so what we did here basically combine reducer is a property or a function you can say from redux what it does let's say for this particular video or for this particular series we are only using single reducer all right but in case in your real application you are having multiple reducers so what this combined reducer does it takes all your reducers and return a single one so by using this you use all your reducers all right so let's say if you have a product and if you have let's say cart reducer and if you have let's say price tag reducer so you can give this kind of reducers over here and then by using this root reducer you can access all your reducers getting my point so instead of using separate separate reducers we can combine all in a single reducer and then we can access it so this is the benefit of using root reducer and combined reducer will merge all the reducers into a single reducer so this is how it works so we have merged all the reducers for the timing we are having only one so finally we need to export it so export default root 
producer. So let's save this. So we are done for our reducers. So we just need to create a particular reducer for our let's say we are using a product so we just give it name product so in this particular product reducer we are using two actions one is for add product one is for delete product and inside this js index.js we are simply using our product inside combined reducers so later on we will only use this root reducer all right so we are done with our reducers part in the next video we will work on our store how we can create store and how we can make it available for all the components and how we can access through a particular component all right so this is about today's video i hope you like it if you did so hit the like button share comment and if you need any kind of help you can connect with me on instagram my instagram handle is open programmer you can also find this in channel description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye